Eternity Outdoors is brought to you by Mouse Implement, your choice for farm equipment in Central Arkansas since 1944. Red Zone Apparel, functional comfort with style in mind. Heavy Shot, the pattern density breakthrough. GNH Decoys, a waterfowl tradition since 1934. Petty Jean Meats, taste the difference. A1 Pawn, serving Russellville since 1982. Eternity Outdoors is also brought to you by It's become a tradition over the last several years that when the short Arkansas turkey season runs out, Austin and I are going to head to Kansas and chase some more turkeys. We've had some success up in Kansas in the past, so we're hoping we can duplicate that success this year. Well, it's our first morning in Kansas, and uh, we just got done with our morning hunt. We uh, saw a couple hens and called them in pretty close and um, decided we got, we were going to back out. We heard a lot of turkeys gobbling over this hill where we've got permission as well, so we're going to try to get after them later in today and uh, tomorrow. But we decided to slip out. We didn't want to spook the hen, so we, uh, the hen that was left in the field, so we just crawled out there, grabbed the decoys, and slipped out. We saw a couple jakes in this other field on the way out, but uh, nothing, nothing big, so we're going to go see if we can drive around and find some. Since this was the first day of our trip, uh, we knew that this was basically going to be a scouting day for us. Uh, we tried to drive around a lot, looked at a lot of different fields, and tried to get a beat on where we could get on a long beard. We saw a lot of different turkeys using several fields, so we were going to key on those areas through the rest of this trip. to total protection. There's safe, then there's Browning safe. From the makers of Heavy Shot, the biggest development in waterfowl loads in a decade, heavy metal. Delivering 20% more lethal pellets on target than any conventional waterfowl load superior patterning and energy from Heavy Shot's patented technology. Available now and priced competitively with premium steel loads. 
More pellets, more pattern, more birds in your bag. Get the picture? Learn more at heavyshot.com. Petty Jean Meats, the official ham of the Arkansas Razorbacks, reminds you there's always something mouthwatering for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including Arkansas's favorite tasting hot dog, old-fashioned thick-sliced bologna, hickory smoked and peppered bacon, jalapeno and cheese deer summer sausage, and new heat and eat beef chili. Since 1928, a name you can depend on for quality meats. Petty Jean Meats, taste the difference. Guys, if you're tired of buying decoys, the paint chipping off of them, brand new, they're leaking with water, you need to get G&H. These are the most durable decoy on the market. Uh, they hand paint them. The paint will last, it won't flake. They're made in the USA. You can literally pass this decoy down from generation to generation. This is the M4. Almost everybody's hunted over this decoy before, killed ducks over it. Looks really good, it'll hold up for you, as durable as it gets. I've actually even hunted over G&H decoys that had literally been run over by a truck. Couldn't tell at all. They're, I'm telling you, they're strong as they come. Uh, another one of my buddies has hunted uh, with these since he was in junior high. He's married, got a kids now with family. That's something he's going to be able to pass down to his grandkids. And uh, it's just cool to have another way to share the sport. Red Zone Apparel. We dare you to trash our shirts. Our shirts can stand up to even the messiest fish. We've combined evaporative cooling, stain resistance, and UPF 50 patented technology. No silkscreen cotton t-shirts here. Our shirts are lightweight, breathable microfiber. Function, comfort, style. Red Zone Apparel. Well, hunting previous years in Kansas, Brandon and I have always hunted together. Uh, we've gone and got permission in the same fields and hunted during the same time in Kansas. This year was a little bit different. We'd gone up there during different times and hunted with different people. So this was a great opportunity for us to hunt together. second day of the hunt. We're hunting an area we've hunted previously this year. We know there's a lot of turkeys used in this area and we're a little unsure how it's going to turn out with the rain. One turkey did end up showing up in this field. Unfortunately, it was just a hen. She sat in front of us and fed in that field all morning and preened herself. Uh, we expected a big tom to show up any minute and use her as a decoy, but never happened. Uh, ended up, the rain finally let up on us, and we decided to hit the road for the midday. Well, midday, we really didn't have a game plan. We knew that morning it had been raining on us and we thought these turkeys would be out in the field. I started driving around trying to find public spots and luckily we came upon a spot that had two toms in it.
after these turkeys came out in the field, we could tell that they knew something wasn't exactly right with our decoy. So they started heading back to the tree line and they got right on the edge of the tree line and we, we kept calling and, and tried to keep them around. And sure enough, they hung around for a few minutes and then one of them broke loose and started heading our way. Stick there. Uh, I must have mis misjudged that distance a little bit. I think it was probably around 60 yards. I thought he'd be about 45 or 50, but public land turkeys, he was already alert. He came around this corner, and that last time he stuck his head up, Austin and I were right back here in this wide open in front of these cedars. We had some shade on us, so I thought we'd be fine, but when he stuck his head up, decided that'd be the time to take a shot, but Probably a little far. Well, I know this gun sighted in. I killed two turkeys with it last year, and basically it boils down to a big whiff. Uh, this turkey's out in the wide open. There's no excuses. But the good thing about Kansas is there's always a turkey around the next corner. Well, this trip ended with a big miss. I hate to end a trip like that and go home discouraged, but uh, we knew that we were probably going to try to get back up there this year. We decided to take our grandpa this next trip. He was able to go, and we were able to both get time off of work. Uh, so Austin and I headed right back up with our grandpa to the same area that we had hunted the previous trip. Eternity Outdoors is brought to you by Mouse Implement, Red Zone Apparel, Heavy Shot, GNH Decoys, Petty Jean Meats, A1 Pawn. Eternity Outdoors is also brought to you by Petty G Meats, the official ham of the Arkansas Razorbacks, reminds you there's always something mouthwatering for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, including Arkansas's favorite tasting hot dog, old fashioned thick sliced bologna, hickory smoked and peppered bacon, jalapeno and cheese, deer summer sausage, and new heat and eat beef chili. 
Since 1928, a name you can depend on for quality meats. Petty Jean Meats. Taste the difference. With the most advanced engine in its class, 50 horsepower, dual overhead cams, and fierce acceleration, the Gator XUV825i will shatter your expectations. Get great deals and service on legendary John Deere equipment. Stop by our dealership today. We were fortunate to be able to have our grandpa hunt with us on this trip. Uh, we had hunted with him for two mornings now, and we were all getting worn out. We had walked around, hadn't had any luck. Um, then he decided to take a nap in the truck uh, mid-morning on the second day, and Austin and I had spotted a turkey out in the field. So we headed out after him while Papa took his nap. Well, Austin and I had barely set up when I started yelping on my mouth call, and it wasn't long before we saw this turkey. He was headed straight in our direction, and he was fired up. Whenever you're ready. Oh man, was that pretty or what? I can't believe we made that happen. Give me some knuckles on that one, man. I'm excited about that. Well, I did not think that was gonna work out. Got the trucks parked right over there on the road. Uh, I saw this turkey strutting in this field and we had seen two, two here yesterday, but uh, didn't think we were gonna be able to get around this tree line on them. And Austin and I slipped around the back edge of this field, and sure enough, he came right in. We called called real loud. It's getting getting pretty windy and starting to spit a little rain, so uh, we had to had to call pretty loud and get him in. But I guess he heard us. He got fired up and had one hen decoy out there, and it worked like a charm. He was uh, one lonely gobbler, I guess. But 
Man, we've been working hard, so that one feels good to get. Got one tag filled, hopefully we'll fill the other one this weekend. Man, that's a definitely a three-year-old. About a 10-inch beard and some real good spurs. You get them? Well, we just got turkey number four down for our Kansas season this year, and uh, man, was it a hunt. It was uh, happened quick. We saw this turkey in the field and drove around here and actually walked around this edge of this field and got on the same tree line and uh, started calling, and he started answering and headed our way pretty shortly, and it ended up happening for us. So it was a definitely a good mid-morning hunt. Yeah. Uh, we've been filming other people all year, so this was nice just to get in here, and, and we usually always know what the other one's going to do, so we try to let him get as close as we can, and he got right up there next to that hen decoy, and we, uh, we definitely fooled this one, so hopefully we'll continue the streak. Well, can't ask for a better hunt than this. Uh, ended up being just a perfect turkey hunt. Uh, this turkey crested the hill, came in on a string, got real close for an easy shot, and it definitely doesn't happen like that every time. I was counting my blessings on this one. Uh, I knew the next one was probably going to be a little bit harder. Well, I'm out here. Uh, just spotted some turkeys down this hill in this public area. So uh, Austin's on his way with Papa and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, get a couple of us and go down here after him. I know there's I know there's one down there strutting and gobbling so uh, hopefully we can get on them and see if we can't get another kill. I just, uh, just got off another kill uh, about an hour ago uh, on another property to the east of here. So uh, been a good morning so far. It's, it's actually about noon right now. So hopefully we can get in there and uh, get another one in this midday. From the time we spotted these turkeys to the time we got to the bottom of this field, it was about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, we didn't know exactly where the turkeys were. Uh, we did, had never been on this property before, so we didn't know how the terrain laid. Uh, we ended up crossing the ravine, getting on the other side of it, popping out of the tree line, putting a decoy out and doing a little bit of calling. And before we knew it, the turkeys started coming around the corner of the trees.
Probably two year old. Got sharp, but they're short spurs. Woo, that's Got a beard good paintbrush. Right there. Real good. This is a testament to sticking with it. We've been hunting these turkeys hard. Um, I missed one earlier in the season on public land here in Kansas, and uh, we, we saw this other public track and, and spotted a turkey in it. So we we came back out after them and uh, just didn't let it get us down and, and uh, tried them once again, and sure enough, it worked out. Well, my turkey hunting roots are on public ground in Arkansas, and to get this turkey on public land in Kansas was really special to me. Uh, I missed one on public land earlier in the season, uh, which wasn't too good, but I just love the challenge of hunting these birds that, that everybody's got a chance to hunt. It's something that, that really gets me excited and gets me going. Uh, you have to put a whole lot more hard work in to get these turkeys, and it just seems to be more authentic to me. Uh, I got to spend a lot of time with Austin on this trip. Uh, we hadn't got to spend a whole lot of time this turkey season. Uh, it was just good to get back out there together and hunt them like we used to the past couple years. We put in the work, hunted hard, and to see that hard work pay off with two tags filled, that's just something that I'll treasure for a long time. way up here about probably three quarters of a mile so we got a long walk out in this mud mud of a bean field 